Masataya, Rabba Shakataka, Rabba Shokoto Lekete, Re Bradokshara, Rendeke Degede. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We exalt you. We give you praise this morning. You deserve our worship. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. I want to say good morning to everyone this morning. Once again, thank you for joining us on Breakfast Worship. It's our 14 days fasting and prayer. And I want to encourage you to make sure you share this page right now. All your friends, all the people in your contact need to be part of what God is doing through this platform. So go ahead, share the page. Go ahead, invite your friends. Go ahead, create what parties. Let others join you. Let your friends, your neighbor, your colleagues, your family be part of this program. This is one thing you must do. Share this page. Make sure someone connects through you this morning. And as you do so, I see the Lord elevate you from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, today might be marking the end of our focus on our spiritual growth. Uh, the truth is that life is more spiritual than physical. The, uh, the, the Bible made us to know that the things we see, we are formed. They were created by the things we cannot see. I showed you a scripture yesterday in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. It said, in the beginning, God. So everything started from God. And who is this God? He's spiritual. God is a spirit, which means everything uh, that we see, physically actually has its origin in the realm of the spirit so it becomes foolish when we begin to focus only on things we can see things we can feel things we can feel things we can relate with physically it becomes very foolish i tell you so there are other factors major factors and most times they are very minute they are very small factors things that has to do with the spirit there's things you can easily neglect. They don't actually look spectacular, but they are very, very important. So this morning, we are really going to pray based on scriptures concerning our spiritual life. God wants us to grow spiritually. He wants us to grow. God is a God of growth. He's a God of advancement. He wants you to move from where you are to another level. Even when a child is born in the physical realm, that child is expected to grow, grow, you know, develop and grow. So God's plan for you this 2022 is that your Christian life will move from where you are to where you're supposed to be. God wants you to grow. And there is no end to spiritual growth. Hallelujah. There is no end. There is no, no level you will attain to. And then you say, I've stopped growing. We keep growing, we keep growing, we keep growing, we keep growing. So this morning, I would like to encourage you with Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. The Bible said in Ephesians, it said, But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things. You see, God wants us to grow in him in all things, which is the head, even the Christ. God wants us to grow spiritually. God wants us to grow physically. God wants us to grow mentally. In our relationship life, God expects growth. Growth is expected of everyone. Growth is expected of everyone. And because of that, we must also intentionally position our mind to grow. Spiritual growth really means uh, to conform to the image of his son. You see? He wants us to be exactly like him. In him we are complete. But in him there is space. Enough space to grow. Grow in knowledge of him. The more we know him, the more we can accomplish great feats for the kingdom. The more we know him, the more we can walk in victory. You see, you can be a child of God and still suffer poverty. Suffer sickness can be a child of God and you are still backward. He said that we might know him and the power 
Apostle Paul was praying in that um, Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. And I was asking myself, what does Paul need to know about God? He, he spoke with God face to face. The New Testament was revealed to him through him. So what does he need to know? So if somebody like Paul desires growth, then everyone needs to grow spiritually. God wants us to grow. He wants us to be like him. Look at Jesus walking in the seashore of Galilee. When he meets, uh, he met uh, situations, challenges of life. Because Jesus came for a purpose. And I want you to know that that same purpose is the purpose why you are living. It's the same purpose. Jesus came that he might destroy all the works of the devil. That we might give sight to the blind. Whether spiritual blindness or physical blindness. It is our duty as God's people to give sight to the blind. God wants us to give um, strength to the land. You want the strength, the learn to walk. There are people that are physically learned and people that are spiritually learned. They are not walking. Nothing in their life is working. Some people don't also walk physically. God wants to give, give them their healing through you. God wants us to cleanse the leper. What is the leper? What does the leper represent? God wants every disease that has to do with our skin with our body he wants every one of them to be healed god hates sickness he wants us to be the one healing all manner of diseases hallelujah and you see this can only happen as we begin to grow yeah from the first day you become a child of god you can actually do miracles but you see, knowledge is a requirement to continue to, you know, do great things in the kingdom. So this morning, the first prayer point we are going to pray is from the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 20, verse 32. He said, now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. The word of God builds us. Up and gives us an inheritance. Remember, in Christ, everything you need is in Christ. Lift up your hands and declare after me. Say, Lord, thank you for the grace available through knowledge of your word. I commit myself to receiving the word of your grace for my spiritual growth. I commit myself to receiving the word of your grace to my spiritual growth. Throughout this year, 2022, I commit myself to receiving the word of your grace for my spiritual growth, fitness, upkeep in the name of Jesus. Let it be your prayer now. Makata shakatala in the name of Jesus, through the knowledge of your word. This year, mashakata kata kata kata. Everyone under the sound of my voice. We join our faith together. We commit ourselves. We commit ourselves to receiving, to receiving of your word of grace in the mighty name of Jesus for our spiritual growth this year. We decree that this year we are disciplined to study the world. We are disciplined to listen to the world. We are disciplined to meditate on the world. We receive the ability. We receive the enablement. Mashakata, Rabashata, Zebra Garosha, Rekete, Re Brother Shanda, Masekete, Arabashataka. We commit ourselves. We commit ourselves to receiving the word of your grace throughout this year. We commit ourselves to the discipline. Oh God require to see, to sit down, to study the world, to meditate on the world, to listen to the world, and to act on the world. No more making of excuses. In the name of Jesus, no more making of excuses. In
in the name of Jesus, we commit to the world. We commit to the world. We commit to the word of your grace that is able to build us, that is able to enable us, that is able to quicken us. Even this morning, throughout this year 2022, we are sold out to your world. We are committed to your world. We are dedicated to your world. We brother Shatala, we listen to the world. We study the world. We speak the world. We declare the world and we practice the world in the name of Jesus for our spiritual fitness in the name of Jesus the word of his grace that is able to build us that is able to enable us that is able to make us spiritual giants where we do not give him for any to temptation where you are stable where we know what to say where we know what to do like Jesus we Shakata, we will begin to convert the little to abundance because we know what God's word stands for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. We are praying for patience, you know, patience is a requirement in the kingdom because we cannot see the world when we say we have received, we might not see physical eyes. So, patience is an ingredient that is required, a quality that is required. It takes patience to operate with God because God is a spirit. You cannot see him. So patience is a requirement. We are going to look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 11. He says, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Hallelujah. You know, a lot of time you can be patient but not with joyfulness. So, this scripture says that we can be strengthened with his might, with that power of resurrection, according to his glorious power, with all patience. With all patience. You cannot operate in the power of God without patience. So, declare after me. Say, Lord, I know that it is through faith and patience that I will obtain my inheritance in Christ and come to spiritual maturity. So I pray that you make me strong and with patience. I receive spiritual strength. I declare I am revitalized. I am quickened spiritually with patience. I am furnished with quality of patience. In the name of Jesus, I activate the fruit of patience in me right now. I decree I am growing in patience in the name of Jesus. The fruit of patience is increasing in my life right now. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. It is with patience that we can obtain our inheritance in Christ. Therefore, right now, we decree in the mighty name of Jesus that we are growing in patience and long suffering in Christ. We are patient believers, patient people. In the name of Jesus, we decree this year, we, we are growing in patience in the name of Jesus. We are growing in patience in the name of Jesus. We are growing in patience in the name of Jesus. We know how to wait on him. We know how to wait on him. We know how to wait on him. We are not impatient. We trust him. It requires patience to trust the Lord. It requires patience to trust him. When you don't understand what he's doing, when you don't understand what is happening, it requires patience. This year, Lord, we are patient people. We are growing in that ability in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are praying for the spirit of the fear of God. In, in book of Psalm chapter 19 verse 9 he said the fear of the Lord is clean enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteousness altogether. The fear of the Lord is clean Declare, say, Father, I pray and I receive the spirit of fear of God that I may hate evil, hate lies, hate pride, hate arrogance, and all other sinful nature that I might be wise 
unto salvation. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, lift up your voice and begin to decree. Remember, the fear of God makes you to hurt. He makes you to hurt all the appearances of the devil. Oh, the, the life of Joseph was, was studied last yesterday, two days ago. We are talking about a man that fear God. The Bible says because because just uh, Joseph feared God, he ran away when temptation or fornication come, came his way. This morning, say in the name of Jesus, I received the fear of God, the fear of God that will cause me to hate every appearances of the devil, cause me to hate immorality, cause me to hate drinking, drunkenness, cause me to hate lies, cause me to hate all evil, cause me to hate pride, arrogance in the name of Jesus. I operate in the fear of God this year. In the name of Jesus, that fear of God that will cost me even in my private life. We are no one is seeing me. I still that love of God restrains me. It costs me to walk away from all appearances of sin. In Jesus' name. Amen. The next prayer point we are praying. We are praying for revelation, wisdom, and insight. Okay, that will take us to that scripture that we have been studying in Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 15. He said, Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks to you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of his glory in the inheritance and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe this morning lift up your voice and declare after me say father in the name of jesus i pray i receive now in the name of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom. I receive the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of you. I pray that the eyes of my understanding is enlightened, is flooded with light. Throughout this year, come on, let it be your prayer. My eyes of understanding is flooded with light. You know, a lot of time in church, a pastor will be preaching. But we cannot connect with what is being said because there is no spiritual enlightenment. Declare this year that your heart is flooded with light, that you may know the hope to which he has called you, that you will not just be, be everywhere this year. You will be purpose-driven. You will be timely. You will be, be where God wants you to be at every point in time. Pray that you may through knowledge and true revelation know how rich you are in Christ Jesus that you are not handicapped you know so many times a lot of Christians do not know who they are declare now say Lord I decree that I will get, have the understanding that in you I am complete that in you I am rich that in you I am endowed open the eyes of my heart that I would know that in you I have the power. That same power that is operational in Christ is operational in me. I receive wisdom. I receive revelation. My heart is flooded with light this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray for God's fullness in our life. God's fullness. Remember that of his fullness we have received grace. Heap up on grace. Hallelujah. We did not receive a little of God. We did not receive half of God. We receive of his fullness. But you see, we need to pray until this is revealed in our heart. Until we can comprehend it in our spirit. In Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16, he said that he may grant unto you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man 
that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all sense what is the breadth, the length, the width, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ quick passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Woo! Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I pray for strength in my inner man by your spirit. I declare that Christ dwells in my heart by faith. I pray that I may become rooted grounded and established in love. This year, I will become rooted and grounded and established in love in the name of Jesus. And above all, Lord, I pray that I may be filled with the fullness of God. We declare this morning in the name of Jesus. We are strengthened in our inner man. We are strengthened in our inner man. Proclaim, say, I am strengthened in my inner man. In the name of Jesus. I declare by faith, Christ dwells in me richly. He dwells in me richly. I am rooted. I am grounded. I am established in God's love. I am rooted. I am grounded. I am established in God's love. I am rooted. I am grounded. I am established in God's love. I am filled with all in the fullness of God. In the name of Jesus, I am filled with all the fullness of God. In the name of Jesus, I am filled with all the fullness of God. In the name of Jesus, this year, I am a full representative of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Makata Zebra, I speak into your life this morning. You are threatened. You are quickened. You are made alive. You are established. You are grounded in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are operating and the, by the fullness, by the capacity, full capacity of God this year. In the name of Jesus. You are patient. In the name of Jesus. Ah, the fear of God in you causes you to ensure evil in the name of Jesus I decree and declare you are above reproach you are unblameable this year in the name of Jesus you are growing you are growing in righteousness you are growing in knowledge of Christ you are growing in understanding mashakatakata the fullness of God is being revealed through you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You are elevated in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 2021. I see you emerge as a spiritual giant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I see him as a spiritual giant. So, what are you going to do now? Keep on feeding your spirit. Keep on dwelling on the word. Make a time. Put the word of God all around you. Listen to the God's word again and again and again and again. Check out in your life the area that you know you need more knowledge. Any area in your life you are struggling means that you don't know much. So, Begin from that area. Study in that area. Fill yourself with God's word. Speak the word only. Don't speak what you feel, see, or hear. Believe and trust in God's word. And I see you live victoriously in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I believe that you've been blessed. So tomorrow is Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll be dwelling on the supernatural. We'll be dwelling on the supernatural. Remember, you are born again to reign again. 
So now we have strengthened our spiritual life. So we are going to take it further. How to take advantage of our supernatural life. So starting from tomorrow, we are going to dwell in, in, in on how to take advantage of our spiritual life. You see, God cannot be dwelling in us. And we are stranded, confused, not knowing what to do. Or we complain just like the people in the world. So join me 6 a.m. tomorrow. We are going to still pray and look at the scripture. And I believe you are already blessed this morning. Thank you very much. Go about your life with this mindset. You are 100% loved by God. Bye.